last specimen of democracy in the Sahel region came to the ground after the state of Niger successively faced five that suspended the civilian government on 26 July 2023. Members of the Presidential Guard led by Member Umar Gianni detained President Mohamed Bozim inside his palace on allegations of being a privileged partner of the West and took all the state institutions under curfew. The international community including the UN, ECOWAS, and African Union along with the Western states including US and France particularly condemned the military action as unconstitutional. Various diplomatic efforts were undertaken by African Union and the Western African Regional Bloc ECOWAS in collaboration with the UN to restore constitutional order. ECOWAS made various attempts to initiate a dialogue through summits with the Niger's military junta while keeping intervention as the last resort. The military establishment has already defied the Sunday 13 August deadline given by the bloc to reinstate the overthrown president. Nigeria's President Bola Tanubu who heads ECOWAS insisted that diplomacy is the best way forward. Similarly, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres acknowledged the mediation efforts initiated by ECOWAS. On the other hand, the military leader has declined the negotiation efforts initiated by the African Union and ECOWAS delegations. Instead, Kiani met with a delegation on 7 August from the neighboring authoritarian states of Burkina Faso and Mali to gain support for the coup. As a consequence of the coup d'etat, regional and international actors including the African Union, ECOWAS, France, and the US have opted for economic coercion. According to the World Bank estimates, being one of the poorest countries in Africa, it it receives $2 billion in aid in annual terms. Niger also held strategic significance due to its presence in the coup belt of Africa as the historical ally of former colonial powers, including the US and France, against terrorism and extremism. The air and land space closure with ECOWAS for five days has caused another blow to the economically unstable state due to the suspension of commercial and financial transactions in turn destabilizing the supply chain and soaring inflation. ECOWAS has placed additional sanctions over Niger after the military establishment turned down recent diplomatic endeavors initiated by the bloc. With a military coup Niger has become a new flashpoint for great power rivalry. Niger was the reliable strategic partner of the West for counter-terrorism operations and provided military bases to France and US. The West also hailed the democratic virtues of Niger in the Sahel region. The crisis extended the situation as the seventh military coup in Central and Western Africa, making Niamey a new hotspot for great power politics. Various Western powers hold stakes in the crisis. France stationed its troops in Niger after the military leaders took over the Malay state in 2021 and allowed the deployment of the Wagner Group. EU also condemned the coup as a destabilization measure taken against democracy and the internal stability of Niger. The coup leader from Niger visited neighboring Mali to gain support from the Russian paramilitary group Wagner deployed there in case of regional or international intervention. U.S. efforts to initiate settlement by sending U.S. Acting Deputy Secretary of State Victoria Nuland to meet the coup cool leader Tkiani or former President Bozum remained futile. In turn, the U.S. halted some of its aid to Niamey while France undertook the suspension of all financial assistance after Niger suspended uranium supply to France which accounts for 15% of Paris uranium needs to power nuclear plants. Military junta is adamant to continue the current state of affairs while the regional intervention in Niger by the African bloc seems far from a tangible reality given the prior cases of Mali and Burkina Faso. In case of intervention, the Wagner Group and neighboring Russian allies will be significant actors to support the military establishment in Niger. 
This not only indicates the consolidation of authoritarianism in the African region given that Mali and Burkina Faso already have a close alliance with Russia but also indicates that the West is losing its grip over Africa which remained its historical ally in the Sahel region.